All right, so we're going to talk a little bit about geometric sequences and series. So first, we'll start with the recursive function. So the recursive function is just a rule on how to get from one value to the next value. So in general, this just looks like u sub n equals r, the common ratio, times u sub n minus 1. So all that you need to do is identify the first term, then list the recursive rule. So in the following sequence, 1, 3, 9, 27, where it goes to u sub n minus 1 and then finally to u sub n, we first find our common ratio, which you get by dividing any two consecutive terms. So if I start with uh, the second term divided by the first term, 3 divided by 1 is 3. Or I could have used 27 divided by 9 is 3. So my common ratio is 3. Now, to list the recursive function, I list the... Uh, first term so u sub 1 is 1 and then u sub n equals 3 times u sub n minus 1 and this part just means the nth term is 3 times the n minus 1 term or the term before it the explicit function is a little bit different so we have some choices we could write an explicit uh, explicit function based on the zero term so this relates uh, to exponentials so the uh, u sub n equals u sub 0 times r to the n power. Uh, so in our example, we don't have the zero term. So the first term is one. So if I work backwards, I can divide by three. So my zero term would be one third. And then the common ratio is three uh, to the n power. And if I wanted to write the uh, explicit function based on the first term, you could go u sub n equals u sub one, the first term times r to the n minus one. So we would say u sub n, the value of the nth term, is 1 times 3 to the n minus 1. And we even discussed in class, if I wanted to write from the third term, we could say u sub n equals 9 times 3 to the n minus uh, 3. So moving on to the summation. So the summation is just if I added up how many consecutive terms. So the summation rule is uh, the sum of the n terms in the series. You start with u sub 1, the first term in the series, and then multiply by 1 minus r to the n power. And then you divide by 1 minus r. So let's say I was trying to find what would happen if I added up the first 15 terms of that series. What would I get? So what you do, how you list that, that's just S sub 10, the sum of the first uh, 10 terms. You list U sub 1, the first term, which was 1, and then minus R, and then to the uh, N power. So in this case, we're going to the 10th term. So minus 3 to the 10th, and then divided by 1 minus R. So 1 minus 3. Uh, that means we have 1 minus 3 to the 10th over 1 minus 3. And I used the calculator to simplify that and got 29,524. 